Hi guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial based in Photoshop with myself, Jack. I'm one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics and yet again, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here today. What I wanna do is talk to you about a very, 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 very impressive tool within Photoshop. And it's a new addition with the new update of the 2022 version. It's really impressive. Now, what, as you can see here, I have this black and white image. Okay, probably taken over 100 years ago. Um, but what I would like to do now is I'd like to colorize this image. I'd like to bring it to life. Okay. And there's a certain filter within Photoshop that we can use to do that. As you can see, I've done it earlier and I've done it on a new layer. Very impressive, right? So, what I'm going to do is let's delete this layer. Okay. And I'll show you how to do it. So obviously make sure you have your layer highlighted like so. And if you go to filter, we have neural filters. Now there are a collection of neural filters that I'll be covering in future videos and stuff, but the one that we will be focusing on today is colorize. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to turn colorize on. And as you can see, it's very, very quick. This is using artificial intelligence, Adobe Sensei, to create these colors. And one of the other benefits of using this filter is being able to manipulate the effects. You have your saturation here. If you want to improve the saturation, increase the saturation or decrease the saturation, have the cyan values, the red values, the magenta, greens, yellows, and blues. Okay, all manipulatable for you to change at your request. And as you can see here, we have color artifact reduction. So let's maybe bring that up a little bit. Let's say nice noise reduction is your texture and noise that we can increase. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, what you should be concerned of with here is your output settings. So you either have current layer, new layer, new layer mask, smart filter, or new document. If I was you, I'd stick to new layer, okay? Because if you affect the current layer, you're being destructive to the original layer. So I'm going to choose new layer, and I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, it has applied a new layer but with the color effect applied. Very impressive. So that means you can get images from old World War II, World War II imagery or any family uh, photos that you have um, laying around that you may want to bring back to life. Guys, thank you again for taking the time and uh, spending your valuable time with myself and learning neural filters. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics and the courses that we offer, Yet again, please don't hesitate in contacting um, and visiting our website at www.blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, you can find us on our Instagram at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Guys, take care. Thank you very much and see you next time.